Cyclone Halima has strengthened to a Category 1 equivalent cyclone with winds of 75 miles per hour, that's 100 kilometers an hour in 10 minute winds, and a central pressure of 985 millibars, and it is moving to the west-southwest at 6 miles an hour or 9 kilometers per hour with no CDPS rating as of this time, which you'll see in a moment. The wind fields of this system remain largely at 30 nautical miles to the northeastern side of the storm, 40 nautical miles to the southeast and northwest side of the storm, and 60 nautical miles being the biggest uh, quadrant at the southwestern side of this system. This system remains at 13.3 degrees south and 74.4 degrees east, placing it just 424 miles away from Diego Garcia, 845 from Rodrigues, 1197 from Mauritius, 1339 from Reunion, and 1632 from Tenambo in Madagascar. That's 682 kilometers away from Diego Garcia, 1360 from Rodrigues, uh, 1926 from Mauritius, 2155 from Reunion, and 2626 from Tanambo. The cone of the system by Meteor France has the system taking a deep dive towards the south, beca possibly becoming a very intense tropical cyclone, and curving to the east as it does so. The, the H-Wharf wind swath here takes it up to, a, I believe, Category 3 intensity before weakening as it curves towards the east and the rain is up to at least 16 inches before the end of the five-day run there takes it up to about 32 as the system uh, weakens. The sea surface temperatures of the system remain relatively warm for this cyclone with 28 degree waters or possibly even warmer than that uh, ahead of the system and the multimodal diagnostics really take this system up to just over 120 knots, that's from the JTWC there. However, deep layer shear it will remain on the rise as the system will continue its life, as well as sea surface temperatures, as well as mid-level relative humidity continuing to drop for this system. Now, again, no land areas are forecast, which is why the system has no CDPS rating. However, we will keep an eye on this system and bring you the latest. Stay tuned for more updates.